First, make sure that the slider on the SD card is in the unlocked position. Navigate your browser to flavorburst.com and then select the support tab. Then go to the touchscreen files drop down window and select the touchscreen firmware downloads all. Select the software version you want to use. Then click on the language file that you want to be the main language on your touchscreen and choose to save that file. Then do the same for the secondary language file that you want to install on the touchscreen. It's very important that you install both a primary and secondary language file. Now, open up one of those zip folders that you downloaded to see the files that are in it. Then insert the SD card into the SD card reader on your computer. If there are already files on the SD card, go ahead and delete them at this time. Then copy the files from one of those zip folders onto the SD card. And do the same for the other folder that you downloaded, copying the files onto the SD card. It is important that you do not copy the whole folder over. Just copy the files from within that folder onto the SD card. If you copy the whole folder over, the touchscreen will not recognize the files. Now close down these windows and remove the SD card. It is very important at this point that you lock the SD card by sliding the lock on the side of that SD card into the lock position. Now you are ready to update the touchscreen. Before you begin, you should be aware that the update process may erase some settings that you have on your touchscreen. Therefore, it is recommended that you record any setting that you have set up on your system. You may not need them, but it is a good idea to record them just in case you do. Depending on the software you currently have, this might include the specific mix-ins or flavors that you currently are using, the dispense rate set for each flavor or mix-in that you have installed, any boxes checked in the Setup Options screen the times for each serving size if you are currently using this feature, and the alternating time value. In addition, if you are running version 15.011 or later, you will also want to record these values, the end of serving delay time, and settings for P2 and P3 connector that can be found in the initial equipment setup screens. After recording these settings, you can now update the touchscreen. Start by making sure that the touchscreen is powered off. Then insert the SD card in the slot under the lower left hand corner of the screen. You will need to insert this with the label facing away from you. Then turn on the touchscreen. You will be taken directly to the firmware update screen and it will show you that you have a card inserted. Now press the next button. Press either update program or update firmware. When the update is finished, you may be asked to calibrate the touchscreen. If so, press the designated areas, and then after you have done this, you must turn off the touchscreen and turn it back on again. You will be taken directly to this screen. Now press the upper right hand corner of the screen. Now press the instructions button in the left hand column. These are the instructions for your primary language. After this file is done uploading, press the continue button and do the same for the instruction file for the secondary language file in the right hand column. Continue this process to update all the flavors and mix in files. At this point, depending on the software you updated from, you may need to re-enter the settings you recorded before you started this process. Turn off the touchscreen and turn it back on again. You will notice that you have the updated firmware as shown at the bottom of the title screen. 
your main screen may look different from this one. If it looks similar to the setup you previously had, then you probably do not need to re-enter any of those values that you recorded. Just double check it to make sure that your settings are correct. However, if you do find that this main screen is different, you will need to set up the touchscreen for your piece of equipment. Just press the upper left hand corner of the screen to enter the setup mode. Then begin by selecting System Setup. Then press Initial Equipment Setup and enter 3141 for the passcode and press Next until you get to the P2 connector setup screen. There are a lot of possible options from this screen and the next screen which is the P3 connector setup screen. You may need to download the appropriate manual or contact Flavorburst for the proper settings for your equipment. Most likely you will have one of three different pieces of equipment attached to your touchscreen. So I will show you how to set up your touchscreen for the standard 8 flavor soft serve flavoring equipment and then I will show you how to set it up for the 8 flavor frozen beverage flavoring equipment which would be used for flavoring slushes, shakes, smoothies and FCB product. And last I will show you how to set it up for a mix-in piece of equipment. Just do exactly as you see here as is appropriate for your piece of equipment. After you set it up for your piece of equipment you can proceed to entering all of the settings you recorded before the beginning this process. For more information on how to operate this touchscreen, you can download a manual from our website. Also, to see some more video demonstrations, please check out our YouTube channel.